Tuesday and I'm back with another weekly vlog. I'll probably do either four days this week or five days. I'm not sure what days I'm actually going to vlog, but I have a couple of home projects that I'm doing this week. Uh, one being that I actually bought a new coffee machine and it is not the coffee machine that I originally wanted. It's a whole thing. It's bugging me. I'll explain it a little bit later. Um, and then I also have a whole bunch of stuff coming up for my bathroom. So my bathroom's on the other side of this wall. I've not shown it too much, but it was time to get like, you know, nice towels and bath mats and accessories. So I'm going to organize and style my bathroom this week. I'm super, super excited about that because I think it'll just change the vibe in there. Uh, so today I'm going to pop out to Staples. I've got to pick up a poster that I printed off Etsy for the bathroom. I think the frame for it is coming today as well. So we can hang that up and make a start. And then I need to get a bunch of other stuff from Staples. I need to go to the dollar store. And then I'm also going to go into the Eaton Center because I have a new coffee mug. I'm so excited. I got the little ghost one from Indigo. It is so cute, perfect for Halloween. So I'm very excited to add him to the collection. I need to go to the bay because there is a little milk jug that I want to get from there. Plus I just want to look through the kitchen stuff. And yeah, that's kind of today. So it's more home stuff and we're going to do all of that and then just, you know, see where the week takes us. But yesterday I started to put together a little to buy shopping list for all the things that I want from Staples. And I think I'm gonna add to the bottom of this what I want from the dollar store, just so I don't forget anything because I will be really bummed out if I come home and forget things. <laughs> my little shopping list for the day. I need to pick up the poster. I want some 3M hooks for my bedroom to hang up some of my hats. I want some 3M hooks for the bathroom. I need printer ink and a wet erase marker. I need some spice containers from the dollar store and some wipes. And then I also want to pick up the milk jug, my new mug, and then I think I'm going to quickly duck into Bath and Body Works and pick up maybe a candle for the bathroom. So I'm going to finish my coffee and then we can head on out and go and tick off this list. Before I go, these are the spice jars that I want. They're just glass jars with a really cute bamboo lid. And I want a couple more for a few different spices. And then I think I might put labels on them. I might not label these ones because these ones are up here and I don't really want the labels to take away from the fact that they're kind of a, a nice piece of decor, but we need to get more of those. Welcome to my bathroom. It's looking a little boring in here, which is why I want to style it up. So I have a bath mat that's coming. I've decided to go with green. I also have a new laundry basket. I did already get one of these 3M hooks. I got them off Amazon and I wanted it to be able to hang my towel here. So I'm getting a green towel and I've got that up there already. I'm going to get some corner storage things for the shower. So I can put all of my products on the little shelf things that I've got. The mirror is really dirty up here. It was like that when I moved in and I haven't got up there to clean it yet because I need to uh, stand on the sink. But the bottom part of the mirror is clean. I've cleaned up until basically where I can reach, but I need to, to fix that. And then um, I need to organize this section here because it's just a few different products and a little bit of a mismatch of random things. And then up here is this screw that was already in the wall when I got here and it's not centered. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't center it. Plus the other day when I was playing around with figuring out what size frame to get, the hook actually just fell out of the wall. So I think I'm just gonna take the hook out and use 3M picture sticky strips to do that there. And then I have a second one of these hooks for the towel to do maybe a hand towel like in this section here somewhere. So uh, we're gonna figure that out, but I wanted to hang the poster first. So yeah, hopefully we're gonna do a nice little bathroom makeover this week. home and I got pretty much everything that I wanted to get except the stuff from Staples which is kind of all the stuff that I really wanted to get today because I didn't realize that the Staples I got my print thing sent to is in the process of closing down and moving so they didn't have anything um, I mean they did have a couple of uh, wet erase markers but they were in bright colors and I just wanted a black so 
Yeah, that was about it. But anyway, I got my poster. I actually have a package downstairs. It could be the frame for this, or it could be some food storage containers that are for my pantry organization. One of the two, either way, I'm very excited about that. But this is my poster. So I got this off Etsy. It's a nice green painted floral thing. I really like it. This, I think, should fit into the frame perfectly. I hope so. If not, I just have to cut around the edges, but I kind of, I, I do like it. After I bought it, I was like, mm, do I actually like this? But this is the color of the bathroom that I want, like greens, and I just thought this would be really nice. So hopefully the frame is here. Uh, then uh, from Indigo, I picked up a catalog because I'm just really excited. Um, I made the mistake of accidentally sending my package to the Bloor and Bay store. So I ended up in the Eaton Center and they're like, yeah, it's not here. And I was like, oh, no. So anyway, I got my mug. I'm, I'm very excited about this. I saw them in person in the Bloor store. And then I also ended up picking up a candle. I think this is part of their Christmas collection, but it's green with a gold uh, foil sort of rim. And it's a geometric shape, I suppose. And the scent is balsam and cedar. And it's definitely a Christmas smell, but I just thought that would be nice with the whole green theme in the bathroom. And then I did pick up my little milk jug from Bay, and oh my goodness, I am so excited about this. It's so cute. I looked online and I found it. It was only $6.95 and it is just the most adorable little milk jug and it is exactly what I wanted, like the perfect size. So I'm very happy about that. Let's open this mug. At it it's so cute it's a little ghost mug it's just it's so adorable welcome to the collection little dude i'm very very happy about that and then i picked up an ice cube tray i completely forgot to count how many jars i need so i ended up getting four of these they i think these are the same size actually yeah they are I, when i was in the store i got very confused because i thought that these were smaller and i know that they're very large spice jars but i also buy my spices in the packets which means there's a lot of them because it's cheaper to buy that in the packet than it is to buy them in the shaker things for anyone in australia you know how you can go to woolworths and you can buy like a little spice in the shaker thing for like two dollars yeah here it's like six to ten dollars for that little thing so you buy them in the packets and then you end up with more but anyways, the point is, I bought four of them. I may need to go back and get more. Okay, this is not a photo frame, which I'm a little bummed about, but I am also very excited because it is all of my new food storage. got some really cool containers from Amazon. I'll link them down below. I'm not unboxing them in this video or at this time right now because I am gonna be doing a pantry and kitchen organizing video. So I'm gonna leave those until that. But I got these and the container, the spice containers today. So I think I'm pretty well on track to almost get that video started. Good morning. Look what just arrived. I have my box from Simon's. It's all my bathroom stuff. I'm super excited about it. The thing that didn't arrive yesterday was the frame for this picture. Amazon said it was gonna arrive by 8 p.m. It did not arrive. So I don't know if it's gonna be one of those situations where they've lost the package and they can't find it or whether it'll come a couple days late. All I know is it's telling me that it was due yesterday and has not got an updated arrival. So let's open this, go through this box and see all of my bathroom stuff. This one is my laundry hamper. Okay, I've got lots of things and I'm very happy about this. My towels and my bath mats are two different colors, but I think it'll be fine because they will match the colors in this picture, I think. I don't think it really matters that there's different greens. I really do like this olive green. And then I have a hand towel and then also a bath towel. I have two of these 
black corner suction unit things to be able to hang up all of my shampoos and stuff. I also got one of these hooks to hang my loofah off. I did get this candle, not for the bathroom, but just because I really like the bubble candles and it's probably one of the cheaper ones that I've found. I think it was about $8, which to me, from what I've seen, is a little more on the cheaper side for one of these bubble candles. And I did also just get a plain black hand soap pump because I just wanted to go sort of matte black with the green and then I guess also a little bit of the, the wood because that color matches with like the nice brownie colors in this picture too. So, and also the frame that I have for this is a wooden frame as well. So yeah, now I get to do all this. Oh, and of course, let's add back in this candle. Just all different tones of greens. I'm not even mad about it. I did also get an update on my Amazon frame order. Apparently it's coming today. So fingers crossed because then I'll actually be able to finish pretty much the entire makeover. I'm going to start in the shower. I do need to give it a little bit of a clean and I'm gonna start by sticking up those little shelves in the corner. I have done the shower organization and I love it. In the bottom one, I just have my body wash and then in the top one, I have my shampoo, conditioner, my razor and then also my face wash that's not really my face wash. I need to get a refill of the one that I actually use. And then I also got this black little hook as well to hang my tan removal mitt and also my loofah on and I love it. It just feels so much more organized in here. So far, I am super happy with everything. I think it's adding a little bit of life and character to my bathroom. This mat is so nice. It's actually really long, but skinny, so it will fit perfectly between the toilet and the, uh, what do you call that? Laundry hamper. For when I get out of the shower, I mean, ideally, that's where it would be when I need to get out of the shower. But I think styling, it just looks so much better just right in the center of the bathroom. Laundry hamper is a little bit thicker and bigger than what I wanted. There just really isn't that much space in here, but honestly, it works and I like it. I definitely like that color, like the natural wood looking color a lot more. And then I have my dark green towel hanging up here on the black hook that matches all of the black hanging stuff in the bathroom. It makes me want to get like green container Containers to put all of my products in so that I can get rid of all of that color in there like the purple and the pink I need to get a green or a black razor. Do they even make those for women on my sink? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I think it looks so good I brought in one of my plants just to see what it would look like and I love it It kind of hides the power point where my toothbrush is plugged into except this is a real plant So I can't leave this in here I think I'll go and get maybe a fake plant and then I have my little green candle and my black hand soap pump. I love it. The only thing left to do now is to have the frame arrive so I can frame my picture. I think that will like fill in this space and really bring all the coloring together. And then I was actually thinking maybe of getting a little green vase with some natural colored pampas grass for the top of the toilet or even another fake kind of plant. So I might go and have a look online and see what I can find. Oh. Something going on. I kind of took a bit of a break. I did have a look at some fake plants online and I don't really like looking for fake plants online. I just don't think it's very good. Um, my frame is here. It is in a, a giant box because you know it's Amazon and that's what they do, but let's open it. Those days are gone. I'm walking tall while you're alone. Okay, 
Okay, I love it. I actually really, really like it. The only problem is, I don't know what Staples did when they printed it, but they didn't print the image to the correct size. And they did the same thing last time as well. The image was 18 by 24. The piece of paper is 18 by 24, but they shrunk it a little bit. And now there is an uneven border on every single side. So there is white there, more white down the bottom, a little bit less white at the top and then almost nothing on this side. But let's go put it up in the bathroom. The picture has been hung up. I really, really, really like it. It is hanging at the moment from that old hook and I hate it. It's so close to the ceiling. It is super far away from the toilet. Whoever put the screw in the wall before me did not center it and it's really bugging me. I just want to put the picture frame right in the center of the white section of wall and I definitely think it needs to come lower to the toilet but I did realize that because I couldn't get what I wanted at Staples yesterday I can't actually do anything. So I'm gonna have to leave that there and pick up some other hook hanging things tomorrow or something like that maybe and we can get that sorted. And then I was thinking about it with this green hand towel and this hook here. I just do not think it would look good hanging here. I feel like that would just be weird when it's hanging out like you know the full amount it almost touches the toilet from where it is I just don't like that so I'm thinking I might just put the hook on the front door here it works really well it's close and easy to grab when you need to dry your hands so let's put this little dude on here so much better. It's just an easy way for me or anybody that comes over to grab the hand towel. I don't mind that there's a hook on the door and it just everything's matching with all the green. I think it's starting to look really really nice. I was saying in one of my other videos that decorating doesn't just come easily to me. It's something that I have to keep working on but I'm actually really impressed with this all coming together pretty much in one day. I do have to wash all of the towels and we have to fix up this frame here and I think I want to get something for on top of the toilet so there's still plenty of weekly vlog left so hopefully we can finish that this week and then the bathroom is 100% finished and done unless I get other containers to take these colored ones away which is a very real possibility because the color is killing me. Hey Google what time is it? It's 4.56 p.m. Okay it's 4.56 p.m. I need to hurry because I'm gonna be running late if I don't get things sorted. I need to just do a little bit of a tidy up because there is now packaging everywhere and I have stuff all over the hallway floor so I need to pick all of this up. Thursday and my new coffee machine arrived this morning and I'm very excited about this. I have to give you an update on the whole coffee machine situation, right? I have the machine that's over there. It cost me $30. I bought it secondhand off Facebook Marketplace as a temporary machine until I got a new one. This is not the machine that I originally wanted. I purchased a machine on August 13th. It is the new Smeg Bean to Cup machine and I purchased it from Cookstore. Now Cookstore is the only place in Canada that it retails on and the only other place that I've seen it retail is some European store. Anyway, when I purchased it, they said they had a two to four week back order and that was fine. After 30 days though, I got an email saying, we're sorry that your order hasn't been shipped. If you would like a refund, you can have a refund. Anyway, that was basically two months ago and I just got over it. I am sick of waiting and I even messaged Smeg a couple times on Instagram and they were so vague. They were like, oh, the machine's coming out sometime this summer. And I'm like, well, that was a couple of months ago. They messaged me that and now summer has come and gone. So no machine. And I just gave up. I was like, I'm sick of waiting for this machine. Who knows when it's ever going to be available. So I decided to ask for a refund. <laughs> now trying to get a refund from Cookstore was an adventure itself because the lady just would not listen to me. I asked three times for a refund and she just kept suggesting other machines. And I was like, just want a refund. I ended up having to contact Cookstore outside of her. And finally a refund is being processed. So hopefully the refund comes in in the next couple of days. And in the meantime, I purchased this 
beautiful white Nespresso machine. I didn't really want a Nespresso machine. I wanted a bean to cup because I don't really want to do pods. But for now, this is what I want. I wanted a white machine that looks pretty. And this is what I'm going with. Plus they have a promo at the moment that you get $100 worth of pods that come with it, which I have to sign up for. But I bought this instead and I really like it. Maybe one day I'll get a bean to cup machine. Who knows? But for now, this is the machine that I'm going with and I'm very happy with it. It's super pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. They gave me a selection of pods, which I am very interested to try. And then I also have to jump online with my serial number and claim my $100 worth of pods. Very happy with this machine. I don't know what the model of this machine is. Ooh, this looks like this opens. Ooh, it's the drip tray and then the pods. Ooh, cool. Oh, this is so fancy and nice looking. Yeah, I don't know what model this is. Anyway, that is an explanation of my coffee machine story situation. And yeah, I just really don't think I want to smeg one anymore because I'm a little over it. Uh, anyway, let's get rid of this one. I actually think someone is coming to collect this today. I'm just selling it again on Facebook Marketplace. Starbucks travel mug so that I can run a, a lot of water through it, I guess, before I actually put coffee in. Okay, so I just ran some hot water through it. I need to wash this if I'm going to put milk in it. And I don't really know what else I need to wash. I probably should read the manual. Here you go. It is called the Latissima One and it uses the old style of pods. Done. I'm very happy about this. I guess I just put this back in here now. I'm not sure when I will use a milk thing. I don't really use milk thingies that often because it's fluff on it. Ah, I'm making a mess already. I don't really use the milk things because I prefer my coffee to be mostly water as opposed to mostly milk. And I find that these things make mostly milk coffees. So what I actually like to do is I boil my kettle and then I fill it up with hot water, kind of, you know, Americano style. And then I just do a little splash of cold milk in it. But uh, yeah, we could test this out maybe tomorrow when I make tomorrow morning's coffee. And now I just add a little bit of cold milk. Before I even forget, I'm going to claim my $100 worth of coffee. For buying a machine. It says if you bought a machine between the 24th of the 9th and the 21st of the 10th, redeem your gift. That's me. I want my coffee pods. I swear I just spent half an hour on the phone dealing with Nespresso because my machine couldn't be registered correctly and now I can't get my voucher and I don't even know what happened. The guy on the phone made no sense. So I don't even know if they're gonna call me back or what, but I, I just need to go and have a shower. I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> I just had a shower. I've got my towels in the dryer so I can style up the rest of the bathroom. I've just made some avocado, cream cheese, hemp seeds, salt and pepper on some bagels. And actually, I thought I would sit down and have a look through these magazines. I picked them up this morning. This is a pack of three. There's Better Homes and Gardens, Martha Stewart Living and Real Simple. I like these packs of three and I just felt like looking through some fall slash autumn home inspiration. Good morning, it is Friday and I thought this morning I would test out using the milk thing that comes with the machine. I just washed it. I think I'm gonna go with this black pod here because I do know that this one's a good one. I like them to be quite intense, although the one next to it is a 13. I wonder how intense this is. Let's do this one instead. Okay, I need to get the manual because I actually don't know what I'm doing now. Okay, I've filled the milk to the third level. I've got my little cup, got the milk with the spout thing and the pod is already in there. It's turned on. It says to just press the milk button. So 
did I do it right? Is that what's supposed to be happening? I don't know, it's not doing anything. And I can't, I can't figure it out. I'm trying to Google the answer as to why the milk light isn't coming on and I'm not really getting anywhere. I have to call my voicemail. I have to listen to the message the lady left from Nespresso giving me instructions about what to do. One, saved message. Main menu. To review your messages, press one. For personal options, press four. Okay, I'm not mad about the coffee. The coffee tastes great. Uh, but I have just sent off the email with the serial number and brought to their attention the fact that the machine doesn't even work. And I'm gonna go and try and not think about this. I'm just a little frustrated, okay? I feel like I've been getting messed around with coffee machines for two months now. And I thought my problems were gonna be solved this week. But I think what I'm most amazed at is that DeLonghi is the manufacturer of the espresso machines and yet it is not recognized as a legitimate purchasing partner for the promo. Hopefully they can register my machine and I can get my coffee and then they can fix it and then everything will be fine. I'm just sitting down to do my makeup. I've basically spent the entire afternoon video editing and I'm just doing my makeup. I'm having a little tub of pureed apple because I'm so hungry. I'm going out for dinner tonight. I cannot wait. I'm going to the Cactus Club with Blair. I've never been to the Cactus Club, but I've ordered in from them and their chicken, whoops, their chicken lettuce wraps are amazing. So we're gonna go for dinner and then one of our friends just happened to have spare tickets to the Ricky Martin and Enrique Iglesias concert. And so now we're gonna go do that, which I'm very excited about. Do my makeup and then I have to try and figure out what to wear. I did a little try on yesterday afternoon um, to try and figure out some outfit ideas, but I got stuck and I didn't really come up with anything. So yes. Anyways, I'm gonna do my makeup, eat my apples and get ready. Makeup is done. Now I just have the difficult task of trying to pick an outfit. I don't even know what I want to wear. The sun has actually just come out. It's been super cloudy and rainy all week. The sun is making an appearance. Not that that really makes it any warmer. It's still going to be around 18 degrees all night. So it's not super cold, not super warm. I could get away with a skirt, which was my original idea. I just, I don't know. I've tried to figure this out yesterday, so I wouldn't be stuck doing this. But here we are, still stuck trying to figure out an outfit. I do have a little bit of time though. I did get ready a little bit early so that I could give myself the chance to destroy my bedroom by pulling apart my entire wardrobe. I did kind of want to wear these heels. These are my new ones from Call It Spring. I've only ever worn them out that one time that I showed you in one of my other vlogs. The other boots that I'm obsessed are also from Call It Spring. I've worn these out once and I kind of want to wear them out again because they're super comfortable and they're super cute. And then in terms of actual outfit, I don't know. I was thinking of wearing my black leather skirt. Maybe, maybe I can just try the black leather skirt with the heels and the knitted top that I wanted to wear. And we'll just see what it looks like. See, this coloring is perfect. Black and brown, I'm obsessed. I'm, I just want everything to be brown right now. This is my original outfit idea. I tried this on yesterday, but I was just in one of those moods where it didn't matter what I put on. I was like, meh. I look terrible. So now that I've put it on, I've uh, chucked on a little bit of jewelry as well, just to try and bring it all together. And I actually don't hate it. I think I might wear a blazer jacket with it, but yeah, I'm not mad about it. It's actually coming together quite nicely. I don't even know what else I would really wear, to be honest. I quite like this outfit. I think if I'm gonna pick a jacket, I don't think I'll do my leather one because that would be just like too leather on leather. I think I might go with my blazer. This one's from Kukai. Oh yeah, I think I like that. But what do we think? I'm actually vibing this. I'm not mad about it. I'm gonna grab my bag. Excuse my giant pile of tampons. You know, it's just that week. Okay. Black bag, brown shoes, black skirt, brown top, black blazer. I'm not mad about this. I actually quite like this. 
I think this is my outfit for the evening. And if we have to walk far, then I know that I'll be able to do that in these shoes because they are so unbelievably comfortable. I'm actually ready so early. I usually am never ready this early. And because I'm ready early, I wanna take a picture for Instagram, like in my mirror. <laughs> Looking at my photos, they're all blurry. Something wrong with my Wi-Fi because the live isn't loading and they are all blurry. Like they're cute, I like them, they're okay, but I think I'm gonna have to take some more. I think that's pretty much it. The lighting in here is really good right now. I like this time of the afternoon, it's like just after 6 p.m. It's a good time right now. Um, yeah, so I'm ready and I'm so excited. Blair and I have like very similar outfits, but like I love like coordinating my outfits with my friends. She's like got white boots on though and like a white blazer, but super cute. I think we have like similar brown colors on, which I like. Um, but she's got the tickets for the concert. I can't believe like we're, you know, going to a concert. We only decided this like two hours ago. Um, so it's really awesome we got those tickets. And yeah, I'm gonna head on out. I'm so hungry. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. I just got home and it's like, I don't know what time it is. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 11.03 p.m. It's 11.03 p.m. I'm a little bit drunk. Um, and we had a really good time at the concert. It was really cool. I felt like it brought back a lot of childhood memories because I was in primary school when a lot of these songs came out. So yeah, brought back a lot of childhood memories. I uh, didn't know that many songs. I think we knew like half the songs from each artist. And then we did leave a little bit early on the Ricky Martin thing just because we didn't want to have to deal with traffic and people everywhere. So yeah, that was wild. Also, did you see how many people were in that stadium? I haven't done anything to that degree since before COVID. It was wild. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna finish eating um, my snacks. These are some of my Australian snacks that my mom sent me in my care package. Um, but yeah, I've had a very good night and I'll see you tomorrow. It is 4 p.m. Sunday and I just got back from the hospital. <laughs> so yesterday I didn't vlog because it was just a really miserable day and I didn't feel like vlogging, but my friend Liz and I went out to this little vintage furniture thing and we ended up getting gift bags, which I will go through in a little bit. We also went to Michael's and HomeSense and I haven't been to HomeSense at all since being back here and I went a little crazy and I got a few things. So I'll go through that later. Um, and then today we got up and we went to play some basketball and football and one of our friends threw the ball and Liz went to catch it, but I think she missed and she hurt her finger. And so then we ended up walking to the hospital and then um, I was waiting with Liz for a couple of hours that we were there and then she got an x-ray and it turns out she's actually fractured her finger. So not good, but that's, that's our morning. We've played basketball and then we've been at the hospital. And so I just got back because I had to meet someone to give away my old coffee machine. So thankfully that coffee machine is gone. That's one less thing to worry about. But I have here in front of me, my new floor lamp for the living room. And I'm so excited about this. This is from Wayfair. I was tossing up between a gold one and a black one and I decided to go black. I don't know what it is about black right now, but I'm just, I'm just really liking it.
Here is my lamp. I'm very happy with it. I've put it here over next to the couch here. There's no ceiling lighting in here. It's only in the kitchen. So this will be good when I want to do my paint by numbers at nighttime. But yeah, it's just a, I don't know, like a metal barrel thing. I got this from Wayfair and it's a sort of rough texture as well. It's an arch floor lamp. And then the base is like black marble. I don't know if you can see the detail of the marble in it, but it is so heavy. And then you just press this little button here on the floor and it shines on. And I think it's so cute and cozy. I think this will be really nice in winter. Someone mentioned the other week that I really need to get a lot of lamps uh, to deal with the winter time. So that's another one to add to the list. But speaking of lamps, I actually have another one to show you. This is my other lamp. I got this from HomeSense yesterday. Liz actually bought the floor lamp version. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen it, but this is for my bedside table and it is exactly what I was looking for. I was trying to be very specific about the height. I didn't want it too tall, anything more than 20 inches too tall, but I thought this was great. I also wanted something in return and it was only 60 bucks, which is not too bad, but I have a whole bunch of other stuff that I picked up yesterday. The first one being, this is from Michaels. It is a fake plant and it was originally $20, but because it's part of their spring collection, I paid $2 for it. And what I'm going to do is cut it up and make a fake plant for the bathroom. Instead of buying a fake plant, I decided I'm gonna make one. So I'm gonna do that this afternoon. Also from Michaels, I picked up a couple of these black fake dried plants. I just really like black at the moment. It's part of their kind of Halloween collection, but I don't care. I just really like their stuff. And then this little dried set here was part of the gift bag from 365, which was the furniture thing that we went to. And I thought this was perfect because I would put this into a vase to go on the toilet. So I'm so close to actually finishing the bathroom DIY. We picked up some light bulbs for our lamps. I also picked up some little glittery black spiders for Halloween from Michaels. And then what else? The rest of this stuff over here is all home scents. Okay, I've picked up a couple of the picture hooks for the frame in the bathroom. And then I also picked up a bunch of these smaller hooks for the hat wall that I wanna do in my bedroom. From Home Sense, I got a wooden rolling pin. I got this really cute mug that says embrace the journey. There was another two designs. Liz got one of them as well, but I can't remember what hers says. Something about being grateful. And then there was a third one. And then I also picked up this jar here, which will be for my coffee pods for my machine. Um, I'm very excited about that. This is exactly what I was looking for. And I was trying to find something online and I just couldn't find it. And then I also purchased this giant Marc Jacobs coffee table book. It was like almost half price than what it's supposed to retail for. And um, I'm very happy about that. So this I might put maybe on the coffee table or at least just somewhere in my apartment. I have the dishwasher and the dryer on and I also have a pot of water boiling behind me. So there's just noises left, right and center at the moment. But I also found this little bowl that I got from Michael's. I got it for 67 cents and it's just got R on it. It gives me sort of like weird, creepy Halloween vibes, but also possibly just decor vibes. I don't know. It's, it's not particularly the prettiest thing ever. It's just, I wanted it. For some reason, I just had to have it and it was 67 cents. And then in the little gift bag, as well as those dried flowers, we got two of these little glasses, which is so cute. And then I got a little knot candle, which I'm obsessed with. This little rug type coaster, I believe. And then also this little candle. So this is all from the 365 Studio. And if you want to pause the screen, you can see where everything is from and get their username and handles. But I think my favorite thing is definitely this little knot candle and then also the dried flowers. I'm not even sure where I should put this little knot candle. Maybe just up here next to my Google Home for now until I figure out what to do with it. I was boiling the water because because I was taking the wax out of this candle that I have from Bath and Body Works. I hate the color of this candle and I thought this would be perfect to paint black the same way that I painted a bunch of the other vases and things black and then hot glue some of those fake leaf things into it and make my own plant for the bathroom. So that's what I'm gonna do.
I am loving all of the colors in this right now, like all the browns and the greens, it's so pretty. I did one coat on this vase, which used to be that sort of light terracotta color. I did a mixture of these two paints from the dollar store and then a little bit of black in it. You can still see sort of the terracotta through it. It probably needs another coat, but um, I'll do that tomorrow. And then I've done two coats of this black one. So I'm gonna go and get my hot glue gun and then we're gonna hot glue some of these green leaves into this container. And then I unwrapped these ones from that gift that I got yesterday. And I don't know, I think that looks really nice. It's simple, there's not too much going on in it. I do have a bigger bunch of pampas grass, but I actually quite like the smaller amount. I think it looks nice. Okay, I'm really excited because I'm pretty sure my bathroom is done now. I've moved the frame down and I actually think I realized why that hook is where it is because it's in center of the toilet because the toilet isn't centered between the bath and the vanity and that's just me being like really particular. If it were my place, I would put the toilet right in the center but um, I feel like my painting's like in a good spot now. And I really quite like this little thing. I'm gonna repaint it again though. I love the pampas grassy bunny tails in it. But yeah, it's all clean and green. And I really, yeah, I really, really, really like the green and like woody touch with black accents as well. Oh, also here's my DIY plant. I can't believe that the plant cost $2. I already had the paint and I already had the candle. I think that's so cool. So yeah, oh my gosh, I love it. I am so happy with how my bathroom makeover has turned out. I just have to get rid of that screw and patch that hole up, but yeah, we're done.